Well, his artwork is collected by the likes of Mikhail Baryshnikov. We're going to introduce you to a multimedia artist who set the date for his most recent exhibition here in New York based on politics. Linda Becquero explains in this week's Visiones. This is a public affairs presentation from For New York, Visiones. Caribbean Pop is the name of his newest solo show, a perfect fit for this artist who was born in the Dominican Republic. Herman Perez joins us now to talk about why he picked July 4th weekend to open his exhibition. Good to see you, Herman. Hi, how are you? We've spoken Good to you to before. You, and the show opens today at the Chase Edwards Gallery in Oyster Bay. Why did you choose this weekend, especially there? Oyster Bay is a small community, and, and I, sh I did a show there with a, in companion with very important artists like Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera at the Museum of Nassau County. So for me, it's, it's, it's a, an area that I have, it's very important for my career. And I saw, uh, they tried to pass a law anti-immigrant because they don't want- In Oyster Bay? Yeah, yeah, they don't want the people to stop and look for a job. And the law never passed. So when the gallery approached me to a collector to do a show there, they asked me what was my selection of data and say I want to do it the 4th of July and a way to show that the Latinos, we are here to stay. And not only that, is to, to put our little grain of sand in the American fabric. And this time you're doing, um, you have multimedia presentations, including this wonderful image here on this guitar. Tell us about that. Yeah, so as my formation as an artist, uh, I'm an architect, so I, I, I was trained in different areas, so I've been using photography, video, um, glass, or prints, different media, depending on what is the moment I'm living. And the guitar is a con it's like a co complete, my two passion in life, that is the music and the painting. And your images are so vivid. Um, you were talking to me earlier about um, Latino art, perhaps changing the aesthetic in this country. We're looking at some of the images right there. Uh, was the Latino, the Latino community is, is have been first marginalized for the American society, but we're growing so fast that we are using our own products like music and dance. Where can people get more information on your website? What's the address? My website is HermanPerezar.com. Wonderful. And the show is at Chase Edwards Gallery. That's in Oyster Bay. It runs through August 1st. And Madam Perez, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you for you. I'm your